Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back again with Fishing Planet in Kanik Creek, Alaska. And we're going to be taking a look at the taming of the Kanik for some pink salmon this time. I haven't been up here actually very often, but as far as recording goes, but I've been fishing here often. But what we're going to need here, guys, is we're going to need some of these spawn sacks that I've already got on this pole. We're going to be doing primarily flow fishing, but I'm going to do a little bit of lure fishing as well. But the hook I've got on here is way too big, so I'm going to go ahead and put a, a two odd on here. I got it about 20 inches and about 0.016 pound tests. Now this is my Brutus 10 foot by 10 inch. And you really don't necessarily have to have one quite as big for these. These guys don't get normally see huge. Now my other rod I've got a um, three quarter I think it was a three quarter tiger spoon. I'll have to look at it again. It might be half half ounce. Alright now basically what we need to do is we need to turn around and come all the way back here. You'll see this little point of land that kind of sticks out right here. You want to stop right here at this point of where this land comes and cast it right out there. Now try to cast it out a little far when I'm float fishing in the morning because they don't bite quite as often but the good thing about pink salmon is you know when it's really a low period it's not the peak you can catch them. You just gotta be kinda patient and what I do is I try to as you can see slowly pull it in and see if anything blue pops up over there on the right side and so far nothing now you will notice that there is a little bit of a tip to it that's because the water here is very shallow but the good thing is with these spawn sacks they do like to pick them up off the bottom okay there was a little bit of blue when I reeled it in that time so there might be something there this time it's there we go okay these guys kinda hit hard and they hit fast there you go trophy pink salmon 7.570 pounds they're pretty good XP 113 that's not too bad I seem to catch them a little closer but for some reason in the morning I kinda have to entice them a little more so that's why I cast them out a little bit further and just just continue to slowly reeling in and occasionally it doesn't hurt to lift your rod a little bit but didn't have to do it that time there we go okay this one's a little bit bigger than the last I think he's fighting me no no he's just a he's just a scrappy little guy <laughs> Alright, now this time I'm going to switch over to my other rod. It is half ounce, so I wasn't sure exactly, but you can catch these guys lure fishing. And it seems like if you're going to catch them, the best type of retrieve is to use the stop and go. The lift and drop, it's too shallow here to really work. There we go. Another trophy, almost as big as the first one. Yeah, my tiger spoons always work for these guy, for all these fish. Nothing else works. They will. Now I had switched it over to evening just to see if I can't get a little bit more luck with it being close to the peak but I'm going to take it back another hour here take it up to 7 o'clock 
between 7 and 9 p.m. is the best times to catch the uniques. Now, truthfully, I have not caught these guys with this spoon. I've only caught them with either shrimp or the spawn sacks. So we're going to try the shrimp first. See if these guys are interested this early on. Seems like the best time though is still between about seven and nine, or not seven and nine, but eight and nine. Seven and nine, you can get a lot of trophies as well. It seems like somewhere between about 30 feet and about 14 feet is where I tend to catch the uniques at this time. Any further out, I usually don't get them. And you just kind of have to be patient. They will come. Yep, there's one there. There he goes. Let's see what this guy is. Uh, another trophy. Kind of small for a trophy, but still a trophy. Uh, oh, I thought I messed up that cast. No, it's about where I want it. Let's just wait and see what happens. Uh, there might be something there. Well, I thought something was there, but I've been waiting about three or four minutes and he must have gave up. I'm going to continue reeling this in see if I can't get something to get enticed. I know something's there. I keep getting little indications that something's interested see little swirls and there he goes I told you there was something there another trophy that's the biggest one 8.456 pounds that's a nice one. Oh, still can't get that unique might not get it until after 8 but I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to these spawn sacks just to just to switch it up a little bit. Maybe they're just interested in those right now. Who knows? Okay, there. Okay, something's after it this time. You see a big swirl? I'm just gonna hold it right here for a minute. Make sure he's still not after it. You see, it's only 60 feet. Now you can see the fish. Look at him. There he is, just under the under the surface. Come on, you little pain in the butt. Bet you anything that's a unique. That's what I've, it seems like with the uniques, they they're pretty bold. There we go. There's our unique guys. Nine point six three zero pounds, one hundred ninety seven XP, twenty seven inches. Big fish here. Nice. Very nice. Let's see if we can't get us another one. We still got about an hour and forty hour and fifteen minutes of the game time. So this is still peak time for them. Just gonna hold right here. 
Did I see a fish? Do you all see him? You see him? Come on. There you go. Oh, come on, being unique. No, nope, it's a trophy. Good size one, though, but... Still a decent fish. I thought that was another unique there for a minute. Well, they're definitely biting. Even in that short peak period. Uh, 25 feet might be a little far out. There's so much reflection. switch back over to the shrimps it's after eight now and I am going to see if I can't get me another unique it seems like they're pretty close to shore If anything's going for it or not here. So much. It's a lot of reflection on the water from the clouds and whatnot. Yeah, we're about done for the day. Yep, there's a fish down there. I see it. I see him. There we go. Alright, another trophy. Well, guys, that's where they are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. So please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe. They're right here, guys. This is where you need to fish for them. Trophies and the uniques. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.